Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you absolutely fantastic chess game. This is the game between David Janowski and Friedrich Seimisch that was played in Marianbad in 1925. Where is Marianbad? Marianbad is a town in Czech Republic. David Janowski had white pieces and he started with d4. Black played knight to f6, knight to f3, e6, bishop to g5, c5, e3. By the way, opening is tor attack. Knight to c6, knight from b to d2, b6, c3, bishop to b7, bishop to d3, pawn takes pawn, e takes on d4, uh, that's a better choice, makes more room for white pieces, e takes on d4, bishop to e7, and very reasonable move here is a castling, but white didn't castle, perhaps he was planning to castle queenside. He played knight to c4, black castled kingside, queen to c2, and the best move in this position is to play h6, but instead black played queen to c7 and now black would lose a pawn in this variation if white wished he could have played bishop takes on f6 and after bishop takes on f6 bishop takes on h7 and uh, black has no compensation for the pawn but uh, why why didn't want to win this pawn well i'm sure that janowski saw that he can win the pawn but he was creating history here and you will see it's a very very interesting continuation he played h4 okay now h6 bishop is under attack and uh, many people would consider moving bishop maybe to e3 maybe bishop takes knight but look at this move surprise surprise bishop is not moving what would happen if pawn takes bishop? This wasn't played in the game, but let's check. If pawn takes bishop, then pawn takes pawn. Knight must move. Knight to d5, the best move. And now bishop to h7 check. And I don't think that is good way for black to play. Placing king on the same file as white rook. So this would be total disaster. So in this position, black played a knight to g4. Now bishop to f4, attacking queen, d6, knight to e3, white wants to exchange defender, knight takes knight, queen takes on e3, and now look how queen and bishop are aiming at this h6 pawn. Black was perhaps afraid of sacrifice, and he played h5. Now rook lift, rook to h3, and black played e5, he wants to open up the position and catch white king but white king is very safe much safer than black king pawn takes pawn knight takes on e5 knight takes pawn takes bishop takes attacking queen black played bishop to d6 black would be happy to exchange bishops in this position but we have reached a critical position of the game it is white to move and to win the game. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find that killer move that white played in this position. Are you ready? If you found this move, congratulations. This is the move that Janowski played. And you know what black did in this position? Black resigned in shock and awe because he saw that if he takes queen then he gets checkmated on g3 so this is the position and commentators suggested that f6 could have been played yes it could but black would be still losing let's check just one variation how the game would continue after f6 
then you will have this queen to h7 king to f7 bishop to d6 is not the only move but let's just try that one bishop takes on d6 queen takes and rook to e3 and this position is totally lost for black and black wasn't interested in continuing in this variation after he saw this queen to h6 move what do you think of this move is this amazing or not i think it's absolutely amazing move and that is all i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now